Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all to do the schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. And we are in our 50th week of dealing with this stay at home, avoid your friends, stock up on food, go cabin crazy, madness is a Chinese bat flu pandemic. Come on. One of y'all decide which way you're going to go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Car going by. 61% humidity. 27 degrees Celsius. It's a little a little sticky out there. It's not too bad. I could breathe for a breathe for a while. So, you know, we're out and about and headed out to get the Jeep rats a normal daily during the week vlog or whatever so bit bit of a funny or ironic I don't know type story but you know I'm, I don't know who all watches and whatever out there I called my youngest daughter last night to talk to her uh, about Ancestry.com and she answered the phone and she says, you're interrupting you. And it took me a minute to realize what she was talking about. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> uh, so, when we were up there after just you know when my mom passed away um, what, two weeks ago, more or less. Um, my son got a bunch of letters. My son and daughter-in-law got a bunch of letters from um, relatives, our relatives who were in the Civil War and it's kind of like a journal that got sent back and forth between this soldier and his loved one at least that's the way I understand I understand it so it's it's very hard to read uh, first of all the it's it's written in cursive and you know everybody's cursive is slightly different and then the ink itself is faded and you know words change over the over the course of time letter shapes change over the course of time and uh so yeah it's fairly difficult to read my daughter got uh from the other side of the family from my dad's side of the family she got a photo album of tintype daguerrettes and uh, the family bible she's the one that does most of the uh, has, has been doing most of the genealogy tracing and she's been trying to match names and faces on the with the daguerrettes because they didn't write anything down um, we haven't we haven't pulled them out of their place to see if any of them have names written on the back. That may be the next step. Right now, we figure the the book itself, even though it's not in the greatest of shape, it's got to be a hundred years old. So 
but yeah she's been tracing the trying to chase the genealogy back and she's done the DNA testing and we're trying to figure out exactly where the Native American blood comes in um, my dad's grandmother was Lenape <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Which is a New Jersey, a, a New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania tribe, or or it's actually the tribes are, are the, the you know the main unit. So they were part of the Lenape Nation, which was part of, from what I understand, the, the Iroquois and Algonquin nations. <coughs> Man, excuse me. I don't know what's going on. Probably all this pollen in the air. So we know my dad's grandmother was uh, at least three quarter Native American, and we think she was a little more than that. And then further back, uh, there's another ancestor who was Cherokee, but it's hard to find information and. I don't know, my brother says it talks about it in that in the Bible, but my daughter can't find any of the any of the information that he's talking about. There were a couple of papers with a type of genealogy uh, written on it. Um, but again it's it's very difficult to read uh, the, the letter usage and spelling and just you know the paper being old and the ink faded it makes it difficult to to read what's there so when I talked with my dad and my brother because my dad's staying with my one younger brother um, talking to them about doing the uh doing the DNA test because my daughter doesn't have any any uh, signs I guess is what it's called of the Indian blood the American, Native American blood and neither does my younger brother my youngest brother but there's also the point that um, the Lenape did not want their DNA in the database so it's not listed as um, Native American or Lenny Lenape so it wouldn't show as Native American it's just other which is making things uh, a little a little difficult so my dad apparently has some paperwork uh, for somebody else that traces it traces the roots back a little further than my daughter was able to so he's going to send that when he gets a chance he's still in the process of moving out of the apartment packing stuff up and going through stuff so Guy, I'm going to back off on this. This guy up here doesn't have a very good secure load and it is flapping and dancing all over the place. Back off, give another 100 feet or so. I don't understand people. Now cars going to cut in right behind him. Go ahead, you catch that. It won't hit me then. Oh, state trooper sitting over in the weeds. I am well under my speed limit. Man, they got some pretty cars. As long as they're not behind you with the reds and blues flashing. Dodge, Dodge Charger or Challenger or whatever. 
in that, I don't know, I just like, I like the colors. Florida got that real dark black. And then a tan called root beer foam, I think. Son can comment down below if he, if he watches this because I know he's painted them in the past. But, uh, where was I? Where was I? So, yeah, I called my dad yesterday just to touch base. Uh, he was out with my brother looking at houses all things I don't know if, if they're looking to rent or buy my dad said buy I know my brother's been renting for several years uh, since his last divorce at any rate um, so maybe he's ready to buy again I know he wasn't happy uh, traffic light no, he wasn't real happy with the location he was he was renting. It was right on a highway. Um, the highway uh, in a fairly quiet southern New Jersey town. So it wasn't like it wasn't like he had steady traffic going through 24/7. But still too close to the road, uh, especially for his fur kid but uh, it is what it is right Let's see what time we got I had a very, pretty good time today 10 after 2 so I need to find a place to sit and chill for a little bit. Oh. That's it. Just cut in front of me and slow down. Come on, it's the long skinny one. Alright, now you're going to speed up. partner too busy carrying up arguing to pay attention to the road uh, I've said it before you can't let it aggravate you too much doesn't really do any good Anyway, ooh, I'm about where I'm getting. So uh, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share them around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slot you, y'all. Cranberry ginger ale. <clears throat> Does a number to my straw, though.